What's a great story about the actual super egg, which is the 3D super ellipse, is that John Lennon had one. And John Lennon, it is said, it must be said by Yuri Geller, the famous, um, which I don't want to libel him, the spoon bender and wonderful self-publicist, always said that John Lennon gave him one because John Lennon said, this is too weird. You know, if it's from another planet, I don't want to go there. So John Lennon didn't like it. John Lennon didn't like it. He gave his to Yuri Geller because it's too weird. Why I think... would he give it to Yuri Geller? Because he didn't like Yuri Geller. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. Unfortunately, he's no longer around for us to ask him those questions. For me, because there's something mystical about it, it does go back in my rather 1970s or kind of Game of Thrones little pouch. This 2.5, um, Alex, it, it's not like a magic number then. It was a sort of an arbitrary decision based on a compromise between aesthetic and functionality of the traffic. Exactly, exactly. And I mean, what's interesting, you know, sort of philosophically speaking, our world is made of straight lines and curves. Um, you know, you walk down the street, streets are kind of often gridded, they're straight lines, you know, the window, it's like straight, but lots of things are curved, you know, the eyeballs are curved, the planets look curved, um, there's something much nicer um, about curves, it's more sort of pleasing to the eye. And so we live in this kind of dual culture, and the super ellipses are quite interesting it's a mathematical but also a kind of philosophical challenge to bring these two sides together.